Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Miss Rivers. That's right, we're back again with another box, box number two of Zendika Rising. Who's who's excited about this set? Who's excited about this set? I am excited about this set, but that's because I like Zendikar. I like Zendikar as a plane. It's just great. It's a great little plane. We got, of course, our promo box topper thing that they're doing with all of the boxes now. Seems cool. It's like a little added bonus, I guess. I don't think that, personally, anyway, I don't think that the box topper is costing us the extra, you know... 20 to 30 dollars a box um to make now let's be fair i mean us up here in canada you know we we get hosed on box prices already to begin with so the increase in prices over the last little while has been pretty absurd um and it's just getting worse it's just getting worse um but what can I do, right? What can we do? So let's get right into it. Of course, these are Japanese packs, as you saw. Uh, in fact, actually, the box that I got um, is got the Japanese text on it. I didn't mention that last time, but the tape, the stop tape, is actually in Japanese as well. So that's how you know something's gone a little bit uh, weird, right? Anyway, got a token there. Nice full art land. We got a foil in the first pack. Very nice. Molten Blast. <laughs> All right. Starting strong with a litho form. We'll take it, I guess, right? That seems pretty good. Litho form engine. I think that's one of the top mythics from the set, isn't it? I think so. If I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure it's, it's up there, right? Because it's what? Uh, Omnath is the top one and then litho form. Yeah. So there you go. Can't complain about that. It's a good way to start the box. That's for sure. Good way to start the box. And then, of course, we got ooh, we got a nice uh, Brushfire Elemental Showcase card. As someone mentioned in the last video, the showcase cards are all cards that have landfall. I didn't correlate those two things, but that is, in fact, what is happening here. So, anyway, we're just going to do a quick peruse for showcase cards. But other than that, we're going to blow through it. Um, token card, Swamp, gorgeous. And... Tabarax, Hope's Demise. Nice little one for a limited. Um, I'm sure you can also find a place for it in standard somewhere along the lines. We got a nice Skyclave Squid there in the showcase border. Very cool. Very cool. What's your best pull so far from Zendikar? I'm curious. That's a gorgeous looking plant token. My goodness. Mountain. Ooh, and then we got the uh, Falith world sculptor uh very big bomb and limited for sure for sure uncommons commons we're gonna be doing or i yeah we're gonna be doing this weekend i'll be having a uh another sunday uh charity video and the we're gonna be opening up some zendikar packs most likely uh or possibly most likely set boosters and uh you guys are gonna want to tune in for that because it might be a big might be a big donation that we end up on we'll have to see maddening cacophony as our rare and no showcase cards to speak of all right what else we got token card mountain gorgeous we got grackma skyclave ravager very cool very cool all right. Nothing in the uncommon slot in Showcase. Nothing in the normal slot in Showcase. We got Copy Token. Very nice. Swamp. Gorgeous. We got a foil. Second foil from the box. Hagra Constrictor. And then we've got a Cargan Intimidator as the rare. We got Song Mad, Treachery, Taunting, Arbor Mage, and Allied Assault as the uncommons. And... No showcase cards in this in the common slot. Token card, Island, Cup Island, R.I.P. Cup Island, uh, Orin Reef Ooze, little solid little ooze card here for sure. Very good to see. Who doesn't like a good ooze card, you know? And especially when it's uh, an ooze that like gives you tokens, puts a one one counter on each creature 
uh, each attacking creature with a 1-1 counter on it. So all of your creatures, if they have 1-1 counters, get bigger. It's great. Territorial Scythe Cat. Very nice in the showcase. We'll take it. We'll take it. We'll take it. We got a garbage card. First garbage card of the box. And we got a nice forest. Ooh, all right. We got a showcase rare, Skyclave Shade. Very nice looking. 3-1 little... Uh, is it flying? It's not flying. Why is it not flying? It looks like it should be flying. Anyway, needless to say, it's a 3-1 for two, but a kicker of three, and it says it can't block. Skyclave Shade can't block. If it was kicked, it enters the battlefield with two 1-1 counters on it. Landfall, whenever it landed, is a battlefield under your control. If Skyclave Shade, Shade is in your graveyard and, it, and it's your turn, you may cast it from your graveyard this turn. Interesting. Interesting little card. And well, put those in the wrong pile, didn't I? Sure did. Sure did. Stack management is important, everybody. Don't forget. And they don't mean just the stack in-game, right? They mean your piles of cards as well to the side. Planes. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Borderless uh, blue black land. Clear water pathway, which flips into the murk water pathway. That's gorgeous, by the way. That's nice. I'll take that. Yes, please. Should I put it with... I should put it in its own little pile here? Is that how I should do it? I'm going to need two rows for rares, so let's do it like this. We'll put, like, of note or weird rares here, mythics here, and then this will be our two rows of rares. That makes sense. That makes sense to me. If it doesn't make sense to you, then I apologize. Oh, we got a nice little showcase canopy bail off there. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Get out of here, pack. Token, forest. We got uh, Yasharn, implacable earth. And then nothing in the uncommons. And nothing in the commons. That land is sweet. I like the look of that land. Insect, mountain. Okay, foil, relic, golem. Mill card, mill card extraordinaire. 6-6 six, six for 3 mana. I mean, you're not going to complain about a 6-6 six, six for 3 mana, especially in a deck where you can mill probably 8 cards within the first, like, 3 turns, right? Relic Robber, um, as our rare, little red uh, goblin that doesn't really steal relics so much as it, like, gives them to other people. <laughs> it gives them artifacts that deal damage to them that they can't really get rid of, which is kind of funny. We got an island, and we got, ah, oh, the crab! The crab man! Ah, or I would be like, what would be like? Whoop, 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 whoop. No, Zoidberg was more of a lobster, I guess. So that's fair. That's fair. Ooh, we got a nice prowling Felidar showcase card. Cool, cool. All right. What do we think? How many foils, how many showcase cards per box these days? Planes token? Okay, Mythic, Seagate Restoration. It's not a bad little one. I'll take it. Um, I think we've had this one already. Um, if I remember correctly, I think we opened it in the last box. But if not, then whatever. But it's a great little card. I mean, like, it's a great commander card. Draw cards equal to the number of cards in your hand, plus one, and then you have no maximum hand size for the rest of the game? Yes, I will take Nothing in the uncommon slot with showcase border. Nothing in the common slot. Anybody played any drafts out there? How about sealed? Did you manage to get a pre-release in? I'm curious because all the shops around here aren't running events because, you know, COVID. But, um, you know, I know a lot of people have been trying to do pre-releases online, virtually, that kind of stuff. So if you got one in, how was it? How did you do? Shatter Skull Charger as our rare. I'm curious because I haven't got to play. I have a deck here that we built on stream on YouTube when I did my patron stuff um, for the Zendikar stuff. And uh, I have the deck. It's ready to go. I want to play it. And I just haven't found anybody to play against yet um, from the other content creators out there that I've been talking to. Um, Inordinate Rage Foil. And our rare is Confounding Conundrum. Confounding Conundrum. Nothing. 
That pack like ripped right in half. Garbage. Another garbage card. Well, hello. Well, hello, Omnap in the showcase border. You're not foil, but I don't fault you for that. I don't fault you for that. This is the card that everybody's paying attention to, right? They're talking about a possible ban Monday, right? Or last Monday. I guess it would have already happened by the time you're seeing this video. When I'm recording this, it hasn't happened yet, but... um. I don't know if they're talking about banning Omnath, but they'll probably be like Uro, right? Would probably go. We my guess. Whoo, that's a spicy meatball. Woo! 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 I don't know if we're gonna I don't know if we're gonna be able to top that. My goodness. You think we can top that? Maybe if we rip a fetch out of the top box topper, I guess. Is that where about it'll be? Coveted prize. Alright. Okay. Nothing in the uncommon slot. Oh, we got an Akrum Hellhound. Seeing a lot of play in mono red right now in standard. A very good card. I mean, it's a one drop red that you can't do much with on first turn. But if you drop a land on turn two, it's two damage. And if you drop another Hellhound on turn two, turn three, you're swinging for four damage minimum, right? It's not bad. Core Warrior Token Mountain. We got a, a Crags Plate Bailoff as our rare. Then we've got uh, nothing in the uncommon slot that's in showcase and nothing in the common slot in showcase. All right, so one rare, one mythic in showcase, and then a bunch of commons and uncommons. Token card, nice little cup island there. Foil Jor Joraga Visionary, I should say. Joraga Visionary. Great little card for, for limited, for sure. Crawling Barons. This is an interesting one. So, like, it's a great mana sink late game, right? It's a great mana sink late game, and then you get this big, beefy creature that's not a creature uh, after the fact. So, I mean, like, it's not bad. It's not bad. I definitely lost to it in Limited a little while ago because I had no instant speed removal left in my deck. And so they're like, well, I have this land that's not a creature on your turn. And I was like, well, then I can't remove it unless you make it a creature on my on your turn. Like, if I attack you and you make it a creature to eat my thing, then I could kill it in response. But they never did. And I was like, well, I guess I just lose. Oh, Okay, let's just have a foil, <laughs> foil borderless uh, red-green land, right? Craig Crown Pathway with <laughs> Timber Crown Pathway. Okay, I mean, okay. <laughs> and the actual rare from the pack is Myriad Construct. Wow, this box is, there's a ruined crab. There's your little ruined, a crabby boy. Little crabby boy. Oh, and look, I almost missed that. We got a dread worm in the showcase border. Man, that pack was stacked. Cra uh, crag count pathway in foil borderless, and a crab, and a border, and a uh, showcase card. Wow. All right, swamp token. We got a Valakut exploration as our rare. We got song mad treachery. Nothing in the uncommons. K okay, commons. Nothing. All right. What do we got here? Let's find out. Junk. Garbage. That's that's three garbage cards. All right. Well, there you go. We got the red-green land, but not in borderless. So we got the Craig, Count, Craig, Crown, uh, Craig Crown Pathway that flips into the Timber Crown Pathway. Very nice. Then we've got Uncommons, nothing. Nothing. And Commons, nothing. All right, what else we got? Token card, forest. Gorgeous looking forest, by the way. Ooh, this card is a beast in limited. Archpriest of Iona. So it's an X2 for one mana. So it's already just a solid card because it's an O2 for one, right? And its power is equal to the number of creatures in your party, right? Now, the beginning of the combat on your turn, if you have a full party, target creature has plus one, plus one, and gains flying until end of turn. It's just very good in limited. We got a showcase Skyclave pickaxe. Nice. Another showcase card? Nothing. All right. This box has been fire so far. My goodness. Token card, Swamp. Foil, Fearless Fledgling. This card's, again, another bonkers card in Limited. This card is so good in Limited because it just gets bigger every turn you play a land. And it gains flying. 
Like, <sighs> all right, we got Akiri, Akiri, Fearless Voyager. Great little card. Gonna see a lot of play in Commander for sure. Solid little Commander card. Um, great for your Boros equipment decks. Oh, we got a nice Necro po uh, Necro Nectar Pot. Ne Nectar Pot in showcase. Cool, cool. Oh my god, our commons. Our common pile has fallen. F's in the chat for the common pile. It fell over. Oh, 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 there we go. Okay. Token card, planes. Foil Saloon Division. That's great because that means it's foil on this side too. So cool. I, I love the fact that they foiled both sides of these. I mean, of course, they do for all the flip cards and stuff, but like having it be a land on one side and a something on the other side, great. Valakut Awakening is our rare. Again, another flip. Very cool. We got in the uncommons, nothing. And commons, nothing. Uncommons, nothing. Commons, nothing. Token card, swamp. Rare is the thieving skydiver. And there it is. A little X cost, where X can't be zero, which is interesting. It's an interesting little uh, stipulation. Ooh, we got a nice foil, or not foil. We got a bo uh, showcase border McKinney ox. Cool, cool. Actually, speaking of which, that's our first Ruin Crab that we've opened that hasn't been Showcase Border Ruin Crab, which is kind of funny. I was starting to think it didn't exist in non-Showcase Border, which is kind of funny. Forest. Ooh, we got Maul of the Skyclaves. Great little equipment. Three mana gives it plus two, plus two flying and first strike for three mana, and it equips when it comes into play. I mean, what, do you, what else do you want from an equipment? right yeah okay it costs two white and two to re-equip it but whatever i mean like in limited it's just a huge bomb because if they don't have removal for your creature that you've equipped it to it's just game over at that point because chances are you're getting hit for like four or five in the air first strike if you have a blocker or something you know like it's not gonna last long <sighs> right we got a planes Ooh, we got an Angel of Destiny, the card that everyone's like, oh my god, this card. It's not, like, super pricey by the looks of things, right? Like, where where is this on the... Yeah, it's only, like, five bucks, but, like, it's an alternate win con. And, it, and you can, like... I've seen some silly things with this one where people are like, I'm just going to change all my creatures into this creature, and then I just gain a whole butt-ton of life. And it's like, it's fair, I guess. No showcase cards in that pack, but we did hit a mythic. So we're down we're up to four mythics now, which is like I think that's about probably like you know, probably the low point of average. Mountain, foil planes. So there you go. We've gotten a foil full art out of each box so far. So that's pretty cool. We've got uh Kazun uh Kazunda Kazandu Kazandu Mammoth. That's the one. That's the one. Nothing in the uncommons. Commons. Ooh, there you go. Spit, Spitfire Lagak. Look at this. This pile of cards. I don't know what's up with this pile of cards, but it's just like, hey, we don't want to stay on top of ourselves. How dare you stack us. Plant token. Island. Island into Soul Shatter as our rare. Instant speed removal. Each opponent sacrifices a creature or Planeswalker with the highest converted mana cost among creatures and Planeswalkers that they control. Great little card for Commander, right? Great little card for Commander. I mean, who doesn't like 3 for one in your opponents, right? Everyone likes 3 for one in your opponents. Everyone. I don't think I know a single person who's like, I don't want a 3 for one That's too much value. How dare you? This pack opened like a cross. Like, look at that. It just like ripped. It like ripped across the top somehow. I don't know. Garbage card. That's number four. Forest. And a swarm shambler. Swarm shambler. Whoa, Black Betty shambler. Oh, sorry, my bad. My 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 apologies, everyone. My apologies. I don't really apologize that much, let's be honest. I, I You get the Canadian apology, which is just, I just say sorry out of reflex. Uh, forest. And then we got the White Greenland Branch Loft Pathway, which turns into the Boulder Loft Pathway. Very nice. 
And then uncommons, nothing there. But we did get two of the rogues there, so, you know. They're seeing a lot of play right now in Standard because of the Artificer from Core 21, right? That's like uh, the one drop that says when a rogue comes into play, you mill two. Yeah, it's really good. Island. We got a Foil Malakir Blood Priest and a Wayward Guide Beast. Ooh, there you go. We got a Fearless Fledgling. Nice. Wow, I haven't seen this in the showcase. That looks really cool. Wow, that art is super neat. So this is the little landfall one drop or two drop that gets bigger and bigger as you play lands. Solid. Solid. All right, let's see what else we got. Token card. Mountain. We got Aura Skyclave Hierophant. We got uh, nothing in the uncommons. Nothing in the commons. Stay. Stay, cards. Stay on your stack. Do, don't do make me call your parents. I've got Watsy on speed dial. Don't make me do it. Mountain. Ooh, foil. All right. Foil showcase border rare. Wish this had been the Omnath, I guess, right? If we were going to get a foil showcase border card in the, in the box, we would have liked it to be the Omnath. But I mean, hey... You can't win everything, right? But nice little Felidar retreat here in Showcase Border Foil. Cool. Very nice. And we got an Inscription of Abundance as our rare. And then nothing in the Uncommons. Ooh, and then we got another Territorial Scythe Cat. Cool, cool. All right, last pack. We're sitting on four Mythics. First box is, what, six Mythics? Um, so, I mean, like, let's hope we find a Mythic in the last pack, I guess? Let's let's hope. I opened it the traditional way, which is to rip it open from the top. Oh, they knew what I wanted in the last pack. A garbage card. Garbage card. Swamp. What do we think? Is it a mythic? It is not a mythic. We just got a Verizal, the split current. Big, big, big derpy serpent that lets you kick your stuff twice. It's not bad. In the right kicker deck, it's very good. Like and, and remember, everyone, it copies it. So if you have a creature with Kicker, it makes a token of the creature when you copy it. So, very cool. Um, in total, what do we end up with? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 showcase, 16 showcase cards. One of them being foil. Um, did we get any, we didn't get any foil showcase cards, like, just in the regular, like, our only foil showcase card was, was the rare, which is kind of funny. Um, how many foils did we get? We ended up with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 foils seems low. So 11 foils seems low. Um, 4 mythics seems low. So, like, those seem, like, low, right? However, we hit, like, the top two Mythics. We hit the Lithoform Engine, and we hit Omnath. So I'm not going to complain about my Mythic count being low, because those are some really good Mythics to hit. Plus, the Omnath was Showcase Border, so pff, it's all gravy. Plus, we hit two full art uh, Cassette Lands, as I'm hearing them called. Cassette Lands, because, you know, A-side and B-side, they flip, right? Take it out, flip it over, right? Very cool. Uh, I thought that was a clever name for them. Seems seems all right. And one of them was a foil. So, I mean, like, I, what can I say about that? Right? What can I say about that? Seems like a pretty good box. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I have been your host, Mr. Rivers. And as always... How could I forget it? How could I forget it? I got so sidetracked by how many foils and, and mythics... And just the bonkers mythics that we pulled out of that box? I completely forgot that we had this. How could I forget? I can't forget this. This has to be opened. I gotta add this on to the end now. Right? Now this has like... Like this has the little tear thing, but I don't know how I feel about it. You know what I mean? One eternity later. There we go. My gosh. It's got to be, like, sealed in the best way possible. Any damage? No damage. And it's pretty, uh, pretty not warped, right? It's not warped. Doesn't look like it's warped. 
Well, it's pretty good that it's not warped, eh? Wow. So we hit an arid mesa on top of those mythics out of this box? Okay. I mean, I'll say it's pretty good. It's a pretty good box for us. Pretty good box. Thank you so much. I'm sorry I missed this. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll sign off again just because I probably had to tag this on at the end and delete the other say a sign off. So just in case. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And as always, may your pulls ever better. Thank <laughs> you.